We are on lesson 156 for arithmetic. Look at letter A. We have a missing number, a missing factor. So we should write our fact family to find seven times a number equals 21. So we have another multiplication, a number times seven equals 21. And then we have two division problems. Start with a higher number, 21 divided by seven equals a number. And then 21 divided by a number equals seven. 21 divided by seven. So we can count by sevens. It's not so easy, but we can do it. Seven plus seven equals 14. 14 plus 7 equals 21. 4 plus 7 is 11. So you put the 1 here. You can put 1 here. 1 plus 1 is 2. 21. So we got to 21. How many groups of 7 do we need? Set to 3 groups of 7. So 21 divided by 7 equals 3. So 3 is our missing factor. 7 times 3 equals 21. 3 times 7 equals 21. 21 divided by 7 equals 3. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. So for our fact family here, we need 2 addition and 2 subtraction. A number plus 9 equals 13. 9 plus a number equals 13. And when we subtract, we begin with the larger numbers. 13 minus 9 equals a number, and 13 minus a number equals 9. 13 minus 9 equals 4. 4 is the missing add in. 4 plus 9 equals 13. 9 plus 4 equals 13. 13 minus 9 equals 4. 13 minus 4 equals 9. 25 divided by a number equals 5. Let's do the other division. 25 divided by 5 equals a number. And then 5 times a number equals 25. And a number times 5 equals 25. So what is 25 divided by 5? 5. 5. 25 divided by 5 equals 5. 25 divided by 5 equals 5. 5 times 5 equals 25. 5 times 5 equals 25. So really, when you have a problem like this, you only need to write 5 times 5 once. And you only need to write 25 divided by 5 once. Because you're just duplicating the same problem. Let's add this money. 6 plus 9 equals 15. 1, 1, and 8 equals 10. Don't forget that decimal point. 1, 2, and 6 equals 9. 3 and 1 equal $49.05. Now we're subtracting. 0 minus 0 equals 0. 0 minus 7 equals you have to borrow. Can't borrow from this 0. You have to borrow from the 2 and make it a 1. You make this 0 a 10. You borrow from this 0 and make it a 9. And you make this 0 a 10. Now 10 minus 7 equals 3, don't forget your decimal point, 9 minus 2 equals 7, and 1 minus 1 equals nothing. So we have $7.30. Let's put on our thinking caps. We have $3.07. Which number here is in the ones place? This is a little bit tricky. Three is in the ones place because it's three dollars. If it were twenty-three dollars, 
The two would be in the tens place and the three would be in the ones place, but it's $3, so three is in the ones place. This number after the decimal point is like a fraction. It's like seven one hundredths of a dollar because there are 100 pennies in a dollar and this is seven cents so this is seven pennies so this is seven hundredths of a dollar so the three is in the ones place for the dollars nine pennies would equal nine one hundredths of a dollar it would equal nine cents. Go ahead and do your classwork and seat work for lesson 156.